Hello and welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to be showing you me sowing some uh, salad leaves or just some salady stuff so I'm going to be sowing spinach lettuce today and I've got everything here that you'll need so make sure that you've got it if you're going to follow along. Um, what I've got is I've got this 20 module seed tray um, and I'm probably going to plant um, three bits so 15 I think that's 15 hold on 12 12 I'm going to be actually I'm going to be uh, planting 12 modules of lettuce and then I'm going to do eight of uh, the spinach and I'm actually growing um, a different type of spinach which isn't technically spinach it's not related to spinach it's actually New Zealand is the variety and it has a bolting resistance and it's also supposedly taster, tastier. I grew it before but it didn't really, it went a bit funny. Um, and I've also got these sort of cut and come again lettuce and also just some red lettuce seeds that I've got as well. And I've also got the most important bit, labels, because I always forget labels and then I completely forget what everything is. Um, so yeah, labels are probably the most important thing that you'll need. Oh, and also, You'll need compost, one of the main ingredients. Now, what I'm actually going to be doing is I'm going to be experimenting here. So I'm actually going to grow um, with compost mixed with a bit of bit, little bit of molehill, like garden soil, basically, because one, I, I want to save money, <laughs> um, and also, um, supposedly, the plants don't actually need full compost because most of the energy that they need for them they start off is actually stored in the seed itself as a carbohydrate. So. All you really need is a bit of compost, about 50-50 with garden soil, and that apparently should work. I'm actually just going to fill up this um, potting tray with some compost. I can always put it back, back in the bag, it's not, it's not an urgent thing. So I'm going to put a handful of that, and about a handful of that. And it's not really like scientific, you don't have to really measure everything. And I'm, I am actually going to put a bit more than uh, compost than soil, because I just I want to make sure that it doesn't dry out too much so I don't have to waste too much water on it. But there, that should be about enough. And then I'm going to mix that with my hands. I'm actually going to use a stick for this. You could use a trowel, but I couldn't find mine. Um, I'm just going to use something just to mix it quite roughly because I actually um, don't really want to get my hands too dirty because I've got to operate the camera as well in between shots. There we go. So that is actually mostly compost, but there is some garden soil in there. And the compost's main purpose is um, A, a bit of nutrients, and two is, or A and two, a, B is to hold the moisture and have some hummus in there. So I've actually found a good way to hold this potting tray up, which is on my wheelbarrow here, where I've got my truck as well. So as I said, I'm going to be doing mostly lettuce and some spinach. So I'm going to do one, two, three rows of the lettuce. Actually, I'll put that in there. And then the rest will be, I'll do that. And the rest will be spinach. So I've got my spinach seeds here and I'm just gonna plant these. And a general rule of thumb is to plant them about the depth of the seed times two. So double the depth of the seed. Um, and these spinach are actually quite big seeds. So, um, yeah, so I'm going to plant them quite deep, or deeper than the lettuce. So with the spinach, I'm going to plant one per module. I'll just press it down a little bit. And you can pretty, I think this is very similar with other spinach, to be honest. But this is just a different variety that I thought I would be trying, that I had in my seed box. So put them in. And if I've got any left in my hand, I'm just going to chuck them in wherever, because... I don't want to go fiddling putting it back in the in the other into the seed box. So I'm just gonna put a sprinkling of just compost on now because it's fine. Um, and by all means you could use your your own homemade compost, but I'm just using shop bought because I haven't got enough of my own made. Right, okay, so that's done, and now onto the lettuce. So the lettuce I just sprinkle on very sparingly quite a few seeds because the germination rate can be a bit low and then what I do then is I just ruffle them in I don't need to sprinkle at all in and this is a bit like cooking basically you just like sprinkling the seasonings in which are the seeds in this case so that's all of the seeds planted and now I'm going to show you where you need to put them once they're sowed 
So actually, once you've sowed them, put them in a greenhouse or windowsill at this time of year. So I'm putting mine in my Harvest Smart Greenhouse where it'll water itself. But if you don't have a self-watering, then you can just water it with maybe an old milk bottle like this, like that, with some holes in the lid. Or you can do it with a watering can that has a rose on the end. And let me just speak about the compost for a bit. So try and make sure that you go for something like a peat-free compost that's quite fine because the seeds like fine soil to push through and also peat-free is the most important thing because it's really good for the environment because peat composts, which are in a lot of gardening um, composts, uh, is taken from the peats, like the natural peat supplies, that is a good store of carbon. And sorry, the sun's in my eyes. Uh, and that means that when we're taking out, we're releasing that carbon, which isn't good for the atmosphere at all. So try and get peat free where you can. So I'm going to head back inside now to carry on, or start actually, my online school day. Um, because I just thought I'd come out before school to plant, film this video and plant some lettuce. Um, and I know it might be quite short, this video, but I thought it'd be quite interesting for you um, just seeing me plant some seeds. And you could follow along as well and maybe get some tips. And actually, you can probably sow these on the ground if you've got a cloche or something. You can plant them straight out, probably, if I was you. Um, if you were maybe a month later than I am, uh, you could actually plant straight into the soil because lettuce don't really need too much... Um, like, they don't need too much heat in the soil. So you could do it under a cloche at the moment, or you could just do it straight into the soil maybe a month or two later than this. And my harvester is actually really, really good for this because it self-waters and it's really light, it's got windows all the way around, other than my greenhouse, it's only got windows on the side. So make sure you go down below to my favorite products and check some of them out where the harvester actually is as well. And yeah, so that's all I've got for today. Make sure you go down below, hit the subscribe button if you want to see more gardening tips like this, and hit the bell icon to make sure you're notified next time more gardening tips do come up on my YouTube channel. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.